I'm talking about the one and only Jackson Purdue. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What, what a nice turnout, boy. Can you feel the love in the room, though, huh? How many folks are in love? Everybody, good for you. It's so hard to be in love. I think the hardest part is just finding somebody you can just talk to and just hang out with, right? Other than having a good sex partner, hello. <laughs> That's not it. You can have sex with anybody. You can't talk just to anybody. That's a special thing, right? Because I know everyone here, we've all been on dates. When you're with your date, your date's talking to you in the car or across the table. You're looking them right in the eye. You're nodding your head, but you're thinking, what the hell are you babbling about? <laughs> and men are the worst of that because men go on automatic nod. <laughs> But they'll be thinking, God, I must be horny to listen to this. <laughs> My last girlfriend was an Irish woman. Any Irish people here? Yeah, yeah Irish are a trip, boy. She was an Irish stripper. Her name was Baby Oh Baby. <laughs> Actually, that was her stage name. Her real name was Problems O Plenty. Right? A walking crisis center, this woman was, right? But everybody is nuts. You know, everybody now is in therapy. Do you know that? It's just a good thing that we don't have parking spaces for the emotionally handicapped, too, because there would be no place to park, right? Oh, some of these people, man, you talk to them for five minutes and you're going, Jesus, good luck with all that baggage. I'm not an emotional sky cap. I can't carry all that stuff for you, all right? And we all have baggage, God bless us. If you have parents, you have baggage. But what I'm saying is you can't bring all your old baggage into a new relationship, you know? I think the airline rule should apply here. You know, you get one small carry-on bag, check the rest of that big stuff in, all right? That's right. <laughs> yep. Indeed. Because we don't have room on the love train for all your childhood baggage, right? Turn the page, right? I don't know where to meet women anymore. I can't go to these bars anymore. I'm just tired of cruising for the bimbo du jour, you know what I mean? And you go in there, it's always the same thing. You got the men on one side of the room mentally undressing the women, and the women on the other side mentally going through the man's wallet, you know? <laughs> then if you see a woman that you do like, because she's pretty, she's always surrounded by two or three of her ugly friends who basically serve as rodeo clowns to keep you away from her, you know what I mean? So, I hope you're all wearing condoms, uh, you know. If you don't want your name on a quilt one day, you're going to put them bad boys on, right? See, a lot of people aren't wearing condoms for two reasons. One, they're just inconvenient, right? Two, they break up the momentum. You have to go to the bathroom to get one. By the time you get back to the bedroom, Elvis has left the building. <laughs> right? so, so, I've come up with a little invention. I call it the condomatic. It's a condom dispenser slash applicator. And what it is, it's like a little Dixie cup type dispenser with a little hole in it. You mount it on your headboard. When time comes, just turn around, stick in your penis. When you pull it out, you got one on. Lock, load it, hammer time. There you go. Because <laughs> we all love that sex, don't we? And if nothing else, it's good exercise, is it not? If you're doing it right, you should be sweating like James Brown when it's over, all right? And my favorite part of the whole experience is not only the orgasm, which is always cool. My favorite part is, you know those couple moments right after the orgasm when you're laid out, you can't move a muscle, you got that post-sexual quadriplegia, you know what I mean? <laughs> that 90-second time span when someone take your wallet, you couldn't do nothing about it. Uh, uh, you got my wallet. Oh, I'm going to get up in a minute. Oh, man. All right, I got to get out of here. My time's up. I enjoy talking to you. Peace. See ya. Thank you. Tuning in, you blew it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Caroline's Comedy Hour.